Hey everyone, it's Trisha. Uh, just kind of a reminder, I do my internship um, inside of a castle, which is pretty cool, um, at, uh, at an agency called Create. Um, and I do individual therapy um, with people who have um, mental illness. I do um, some work with kids and teens, some work with adults. Um, I just finished my um, group on writing and substance abuse um, with women in a homeless shelter, and um, that was really, really great. I, I didn't expect to be as excited about it as I was, because um, it, felt, it felt a little forced at first, to be honest. Um, so it felt really good um, kind of ending it and coming to a conclusion, and the um, shelter itself, the woman who puts everything together, asked me to come back. Um, in January, which felt really cool to, to, that they, they thought I did a good enough job that they want me to come back, which feels really, really neat. Um, so that is kind of what I want to talk about today is, is just endings. And I know it's really, really early on in the semester, but I know, um, I'm sure that some people have had clients come and go. I know for me, um, I've had a bunch of intakes, um, with clients who are supposed to become permanent clients and, they ended up not showing up or just never calling back. Um, and I've had a couple of clients who I've met with a few times and then they just kind of drop off the face of the earth. Um, so this group is the only time I've had um, a formal kind of conclusion, a formal termination, as we put it, that I, I hate kind of using that term because it feels so harsh, um, but it is the easiest way, I think, to, to do it. Um, I think that with the group itself, I kind of talked to the director, Stephen, who's not my supervisor, um, but he's the director of Create, um, and he gave me a lot of really great ideas. We, I did um, this thing with scarves, um, and we kind of pointed out each woman's strength. Um, so what we did was we took, um, each woman took a scarf and picked out a strength they saw in another member of the group and then put the scarf at her feet until we had a circle going all the way around us. Um, and then we used that activity to kind of build on a poem where they just filled in lines about the strengths they saw in the other women, um, which they loved. They thought it was really great. And then at the end of the session, um, we went back into the room where the scarves were still laid out um, and they had all the women kind of gather them up. Um, and just put all of their energy into those and then throw them up in the air to kind of have a, a cathartic and fun way to end a group that for some of the women were saying were really sad. I, one of the one of the girls um, kind of jokingly said that she didn't give us permission to leave, so we weren't allowed to, which, which to be honest, felt really, really cool because um, it felt really awkward and forced and strange for the first session. So on the next two, it felt, the next three, it felt really great. Um, and then for the clients that I've had that have left, um, some of them felt kind of strange. One of them, I was in the intake process just talking to him. I was certain that he wasn't going to come back for the next session because it was really clear that he wasn't in a space um, to be in treatment. And he, his life was just was way too chaotic. He was way too scattered. And he just was not able to focus on himself at that point. Um, so when he didn't show up for my appointment, I, um, gave him a call and he didn't respond. And I came in, um, on my next day that I was there and I had a message saying that he rescheduled his appointment for the end of November stating that, um, he was going to be in another state for a while. So, and this was in probably the middle of October. So he rescheduled this follow-up intake for a month and a half away, which I thought was kind of funny. Um, and then with other families, like one um, young boy I got as a transfer from another clinician who went out on maternity leave. Um, and I got this kiddo because um, it, it, that's just how it worked out. He just went to another intern and um, he, I had one session and it felt really kind of forced and awkward, um, which I think can happen with young kids like that, young boys especially. Second one was much better. We played Jenga. We kind of just got to know each other. And then he just never showed up again. So um, I think that that's, that's kind of interesting. Um, and so I guess my question um, this week for everybody is more related to my... Um, group that I had. Does anyone have any like group activities that they've used or they've done with other, um, 
groups of people or with individual clients um, activity wise that you thought worked really well or went really well. Um, I really look forward to hearing your responses um, and I hope you guys are all having a great week. Okay. Bye.